Bengals have made a decision on wide receiver T. Higgins. Gross, what's the plan there? Well, the Bengals have uh, designated T. Higgins as their franchise player, which means if nothing else happens, he'll play this year on a one-year $21.816 million contract. Now the question becomes, what happens next? Do they find a way to get him a contract extension? If not, does he get upset and, and sort of, you know, make noise about wanting out like we've seen in recent years with receivers like Tyreek Hill and A.J. Brown uh, and Devontae Adams? So this is the Bengals' effort to kind of keep the band together around Joe Burrow mm -hmm. as long as they possibly can. They know they have other guys coming up they have to pay, mm -hmm. some at that same <laughs> position, uh, but they really believe, like, the core they have around Joe Burrow is Super Bowl caliber, uh, and they want to keep it together as long as possible. This move is aimed at that. Okay, so we know who those other guys are. Mina, uh, that's Jamar Chase. Um, obviously, he needs a new deal. How yeah. would you like to see them handle this Higgins situation, Mina? Yeah, it made sense for them to tag T, and now I think you got to take some calls and see what's out there uh, because I would be very, very surprised if Cincinnati gives him an extension of the kind that he wants, knowing that they have to pay Jamar Chase and knowing that there are other issues with this roster. They may feel that they have a Super Bowl-caliber team, but this defense was not good last season. And, and you look to a team, uh, Dan mentioned the Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill trade, pardon me, in Kansas City who used the assets acquired in that trade to bolster their defense, which is arguably why they won the Super Bowl this year. Uh, I, I'm not saying that you have to do the trade. I think there is something to be said for going all in this season while you have Jamar Chase and T. Higgins on the roster. You can have a, an incredible offense again with Joe Burrow. But you have to be open to the possibility of moving on, knowing that it's likely to only be one year with Higgins mm -hmm. versus potentially multiple years with younger players you can acquire in the draft. They can certainly supplement the defense with what they get in a Higgins trade, but it is possible. It has happened before where we've seen a team pay a quarterback and two wide receivers significant money and win a Super Bowl. You just have to go back to the Colts nearly 20 years ago now to see it happen. So for the Bengals with T. Mm. Higgins, it's going to be a tough situation. And there is a ton of talent there at receiver. I, I, I really feel like for the Bengals, they just have to be intentional. If you're going to be a team that wants to build around those two receivers and yeah. Joe Burrow, you can do it, but you're going to have to accept you can't spend money at linebacker. You can't spend money at safety. Mm -hmm. Can't spend mm -hmm. money on the interior of the offensive line. Those Colts mm -hmm. teams were very decisive about where they spent money and where they drafted and developed talent on the cheap. And I think you have to be that intentional if you're going to spend that much money on three players, even if they're as good as Burrow, Chase, and Higgins. Yeah, and Burrow's cap hits $30 million this year. That jumps up to $46 million next year and up and up for those final five years of his deal.